repeat some of the information that I presented before, but give you a little bit more detail. This is the typical pattern of user documentation. The first thing you have to describe is what. What a thing is. Typically, you'll also want to tell where they can find it. So let's use a random example of this table right here. What is a table? But how do you how do you describe this? Let's go back to that Aristotelian distinction we talked about yesterday. Describe it in terms of what it's useful for and where you can find it. So a table is used for holding things at the correct height for people who are eating or working. Where do you find a table? In the kitchen or the workplace, right? The next thing you're going to describe is why. Why is this important? Right? Why do we need to use a table? Why do we use a table? We use a table so that we don't have to eat on the floor. Or we use a table to prevent our backs from hurting. So give the definition of what and why in terms of usefulness to the person reading the document. Right? So this requires, again, that you go back and you determine who is going to be reading the document. If it's going to be Cindy or Tom or... Right? Along with why, you'll either explicitly or implicitly tell who is going to be using it and when. All right, so who uses the table? People eating dinner, people doing work, when, at dinner time, while working on the computer, so on and so forth. So your first two sentences, typically, when you're writing something for a user, it's going to be, what is the thing? Why should they be interested? The reason we put this first is because it allows the user to determine, is this important or useful to me? If it's not, then they can just skip and go to the next thing. But if you don't tell them this information and you just jump right into the steps, they don't know if this is actually for them or not, or if it's meant for someone else. So it's important to always describe what the thing is and why they're going to use it. And where it is, you could use a screen grab for this, or you could describe on the blah blah menu, right? And then who's going to use it and when. After you've done this, you ask the question of how. And this is where it comes into writing <coughs> steps. And it's typically going to be a numbered list. And how many numbers do we have there? How many steps? Seven plus or minus two. Exactly. And what if there's more steps? then you have to break it into logical gloms and give pauses or intermediate steps or even just arbitrarily break it up so that they don't have too many steps all at once. Okay? And then finally, you need to tell people the result. What should they expect after they have completed these steps? Now, obviously, you've seen this in user manuals, good user manuals at least, pretty much follow this pattern. 